Today we're comparing Blackmagic RAW 3 to 1 versus 12 to 1 on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. As the differences may appear subtle, you might want to keep an eye on the window on the right. Eight to one is the first time I can see a difference and it feels like it's a little softer. 12 to one, even softer still. I find Q0 and Q5 very similar to three to one, so they must be using a very similar compression for this particular shot. And here we have ProRes 422 HQ. As you can see, 12 to one is the softest out of these three but it's only really noticeable when you zoom in this much. This test has been shot two stops overexposed, then brought down in post. They all seem to be handling the overexposed skies very well. It seems like ProRes has a slightly lower dynamic range, with the sky turning into a solid shade of grey without any detail. This is a very similar test to the first one, but this time with some motion. You can see more of a difference between 3 to 1 and 12 to 1 in this example. 3 to 1 has a bit more detail in the leaves. Let's see how they perform in low light. Once again, 8 to 1 is the first time I can see any noticeable change. And then 12 to 1 becomes slightly softer than 8 to 1. For any web delivery or social media videos, I think 12 to 1 is more than enough. I'm going to continue shooting 12 to 1, and I think I'm only going to shoot lower compression for high-end commercials and narrative. Let's see how they perform two stops underexposed. To me it seems 3 to 1 and 5 to 1 are very similar. I'm very impressed with 12 to 1, considering how much smaller the file sizes are to 3 to 1. Here's a comparison of the file sizes between each codec. This is for a 10 minute clip. I'd love to hear what you've taken away from these tests. And if you have any other suggestions, please let me know.